We're here today on Little Horseshoe, Watermark Fisheries, Little Horseshoe Lake in South Cerny in Gloucestershire. Lovely little place it is. It's um, about four and a half acres in size, something like that. Uh, you've got like depths ranging from a foot down in the shallows over there, down to about 25 foot, something like that. It's got a fair few fish in here, probably about 350. So me and Nige, we've come down for a social with our old mate Keith Sykes, as we do uh, about every six months or so, have a little bit of a catch up. And we got down here about two o'clock yesterday afternoon, got the rods out, basically fished on the back of the wind. Um, see a few bubblers out there, put the baits across them and um, had a fish, a nice little ornamental, beautiful little thing, probably about seven pound. Um, and then had another one during the night, probably about 10 pounds, something like that. So. Um, Nigel had one a little while ago, probably about 15, 16 pound, lovely little fish it was. So, uh, so I'm using the hinge stiff link, Nigel's using the chod rig, so uh, in a minute we'll get him to explain like what he's doing with that and why he uses it. So uh, yeah, we're ever hopeful, it's bite time now, so uh, fingers crossed, eh? As I was saying, we got down here yesterday afternoon, probably about two o'clock, and um, we plumped for the middle for diddle swims, really. We don't know much about the lake. As I was saying, it's quite shallow up that end, deeper out there in the middle. So, um, plump for this one. Basically, I'm going across to the island over there, probably a rod length off the island, so it's coming up out of the deep and onto the shallow part all the way around the island margins. They're all back into the same spot, so I put a bit of bait out this morning. As I was saying, got the hinge stiff links out there, because they always do the job, and uh, that seems to have worked. So, I'll go and check out what Nige is doing. Oh, hi, mate. It's nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it don't look too bad at all. Nice yeah. little fish earlier. Yeah, little. yeah. Lovely little dumpy mirror. Nice, mate. Nice little start to the bites, hopefully. Lovely. You um, him on a choddy? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the old favourite. Well, yeah, you know. It's, see, like, you went for the end rig, so I thought I'll stick to my old faithful. You know, and yesterday, chucked out the old new bait, the end blend, a few scattered freebies round it, so I see Keith putting a bit of bait around his floats, so I thought that'd be the way to catch him. He knows the lake well, doesn't he? Yeah, mate, yeah, for sure. But nothing really happens on that, and dawn this morning, see a few fish rolling along the other bank and out in the middle, so I started casting various different colours and flavours, you know, from the range out there on the chods, and got round about midday, the bite time that we're told, and wasn't really happening, and I thought, you know, You'd caught yours on a couple of different flavours, and yeah. Bidders has had his mid double on a pineapple fluoro. So I thought, well, there's not one particular bait that's having it. What do I need to do? I need a bit of attraction. So For sure. I had a little think, sort of talked to myself, and thought, well, you know, the old the going bait on here or a local bait's the DT anchovy that they, all, you know, you can get up the road in the, the tackle den. So I thought, I've got some of those, like. Revved, it, revved the pot up with a bit of the old Fish Pro. You know, sting, you know, a bit of attraction. And, you know, as luck would have it, when we were sort of chatting earlier, just that flat spot come up over near the far bank. So. Yeah, mate. Look, do move the stop up on the chod, because, you know, it's one of them cast anywhere. You're not using the marker float. You don't know what the bottom's like. So I, you know, moved the stop up, put a nice stinking, dripping, the food bait out there, cast it out, felt the lead drop clear through the water near to where I see the flat spot and, you know, a few liners here and there and, well, like you heard, and obviously one of them well, she went. turned into a bite, you know, pulled up tight and you see the line cutting up through the water and pretty good battle with it kiting around and, you know, had a little bit of trouble with Keith's lines, you know, because he's fishing my water, but, <laughs> you know, it's all... One of them things you now and again snag someone else's line, but yeah, managed to get it in. Nice little dumpy mirror, but hopefully, well, is I've turned two of the rods over to the food baits now. And probably have all three of them out by <laughs> the time the sun's gone down with a bit of stinking food bait, you know, anchovies. So we'll see what tonight brings, eh?
Was that on noise? It's on the yeah. anchovy again.